Hey, this is the Fight Nerd, and joining me now is Shane Del Rosario. Shane, how are you today? I'm all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. Now, coming up this Friday in California, you're going to be doing an event to help promote the Supremacy MMA video game, which you're a character in. So, give us some details on the event, where it is, and what's happening with it. Uh, it's going to be up in uh, LA at the University City Walk. Uh, I believe about between eight and ten. I know it's a big week out there for video games, like a big video, video game conference. Uh, it's exciting. I've never been a part of a video game. <laughs> I never thought I would be, so it's pretty cool to be a part of. Uh, but I'll be out there doing autographs. I'm going to get along with Jens Pulver and some of the guys that are in that video game. So it's going to be a good event. Uh, everyone should come out and support. Now, have you had a chance to play the game yet? I have not. Uh, I don't know if I will when I get there on Friday. Um, i just seen some uh, trailers for it and some videos. Uh, other than that, I don't know much about it. I'm kind of waiting to see it and uh, waiting to play it for sure. Yeah, same here, same here now. What was the process of being turned into a video game character? Um, actually, it was pretty easy. I mean, uh, um, when I went to L.A., but it was actually a while back, maybe like a year and a half ago or so. Um, and we just took pictures of, like, every part of our body, you know, like the bottom of our foot, our tongue, our teeth, like, ears, pretty much every part of your body. Uh, we did some, like, some movement on the camera, but, but not, uh, not what, I don't know what they're called, what the little motion sensor seems. We didn't do anything like that. But, uh, somehow they captured our likeness, so, you know, very, very detailed, very, very likely of us. Um, and it looks really good. So, bottom line, you're happy with the way your character came out? Uh, so far, I haven't really seen it. I haven't seen my character play or fight yet. <laughs> but uh, from the trailer so far, yeah, it looks like me. Yeah, I think they, they gave me a couple more abs than I normally have, so I'm not happy with that. Yeah, no, com- <laughs> no complaints there, right? Now, are you a big video game uh, player yourself? Uh, you know, I, I play off and on. I mean, I, I'm not one of the guys, like, person that plays all the time, but, uh, I'll go through my stages where I'll play and then I'll kind of get, get sick of it and move on. But, uh, I'm a pretty active person. I like to be out of the doors a lot and do a lot of things. It's pretty busy. But, uh, yeah, video games are fun, though. Alright, so I'll leave the video games to nerds like me in that case. You can go outdoors and play your sports. Have it your way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now coming up, you were supposed to fight at the uh, upcoming Strike Force show next week against Daniel Cormier, but, Unfortunately, you were involved in a, in a pretty serious accident. So, can you just give our, our viewers a quick update on your health and your recovery? Um, yeah, it's, it's been about it's already been about six, seven weeks since that accident um, it happened early in April. Um, I have uh, I have some herniated discs and some bulging discs. Um, it's preventing me to train basically, and, and so I had to pull out of my fight. Uh, Daniel Cormier is a very tough opponent. Um, you know, I'm sorry to the fans, the organization, everyone that. Uh, this fight couldn't happen, um, but uh, you know he's a very serious opponent. My career is in a very serious position, so I just couldn't risk anything. Um, as of right now, I'm still not training yet. Um, I've done some light stuff here and there for, for physical therapy, but other than that, I've been kind of just having to uh, lay low and having a physical therapy pretty much every other day. Um, just a lot of downtime. You know, it's really discouraging. It, it sucks at times, um, but I know it could have been a lot worse. You know. Um, at least I'm able to walk around and move, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping to get a fight or try to at least get back to uh, fighting maybe mid-fall, early winter. But basically right now it's kind of week by week to get our progresses. And I know when the news first broke, there were some people, uh, some sources saying that this might have been the end of your career, but it's good to hear that this is not going to be a fact. You will be, in fact, back in action soon. No, definitely not. I mean, it is definitely a serious injury. Um, I know anything involving someone's neck or back, you know, you got you to think twice about, about moving forward too quickly. Um, so we're being precautious, um, but uh, definitely not a career ending. Um, it just kind of took so was kind of on a roll. Um, you know, UFC bought Strike Force, and you know, it's, it's a big year for everyone in Strike Force to you know, make a name for themselves. And so it sucks that I can't fight as much as I like to this year. I only had one fight last year. Um, it looks like I'm only, only going to have maybe two fights this year. So um, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, discouraging, but uh, hopefully, you know, once I finally get healthy, I can uh, fight back to back and, uh, you know, get some wins. Now, what's been the hardest part of your recovery so far, the physical part or the mental part? Uh, well, right now, it's, it's, you know, all the mental comes from you know, not being able to do anything physically. You know, I'm an active person. Uh, you know, I'm used to training twice a day, five days a week. You know, I'm at least doing something physical every day of the week. And uh, right now, I'm doing nothing but sitting around, <laughs> kind of getting fat and just hanging out. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely right now the physical part, I mean... Uh, uh, anything I do, I mean, I'm feeling it for the next couple of days, you know, so it, it's tough. I mean, no, I mean, a sport where you deal with a lot of injury and a lot of pain, um, it's just something a little bit different for me, you know. It's something that's ongoing and, and, and constant, and, 
and there's nothing really that gives me release right now unless unless I'm doing absolutely nothing. And that's where the mental part comes in. It's not being able to be myself, you know, whether it's, it's training or fighting or, or even just hanging out with my nephews and nieces and, and just playing with, uh, you know, with them or just, you know, doing everything that I do in my normal life. I, I can't. And that's what sucks most. Now, now without giving us uh, too much details, because I know this is a touchy subject and this is possibly going to be uh, something that happens in the near future, but is there any legal action being taken with the woman who hit you? Um, yeah, it's, I guess it's a long process that we go through with this kind of thing. Um, as of right now, uh, I, I do have an attorney. Um, right now, basically, they're saying just go get healthy. You know, we'll, we'll deal with everything later. Um, as of right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to physical therapy you know, every other day. Um, you know, I'm just trying to you know, live over and just trying, trying to get healthy. And hopefully, you know, it's been about six weeks. You know, that first month, I didn't feel any progress. Uh, once I hit that one month mark, I, you know, I kind of felt a little bit more. So I, I'm thinking, you know, every, as every month goes on, I'm going to feel a lot better and better. I'm hoping by the end of this month, um, you know, I can start training, start doing something, you know, get back to where I am. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, then we'll kind of go from there. Now, has Strike Force or, or even Zufa in this case, and Save Now bought the company, has either of these companies helped you out in terms of uh, paying your medical bills or anything like that? Um, you know what, uh, right it's kind of funny, right before the accident happened, um, right after the accident happened, I had to go out for New Vegas for the, the UFC fighter orientation, or the Strike Force fighter orientation, and they were telling us about the insurance package, you know, and unfortunately, <laughs> I think we, our insurance was uh, effective June 1st, my accident happened in April, so that's not something I can claim. But uh, Zufar, UFC, and Strike Force, they've been very helpful, um, they're, they're, you know, making all their resources available to me. Um, let me know if I need any help with the legal, legal team or, or the PR team or you know, any of their people um, as far as rehab or doctors. So it's nice to know that they have my, or I have their support. Um, you know, and they're saying, you know, just get healthy and we'll, we'll get back to your fight schedule and I get on with my contracts. So it's cool to have a, um, an organization that's understanding with my uh, situation. Yeah, absolutely. Now, there's a lot of other fighters who may have been in similar situations where they don't have insurance necessarily. Uh, so, would you say, you know, would this be one of those cases where it might help fighters like yourself and others to have a fighters union or some kind of organization to help you guys out? Uh, I mean, sure. I mean, uh, insurance is a great thing to have, especially in what, what we do. Uh, I think the UFC is making a huge step with, with this new fighter insurance, and, and maybe it's not it's not the it's not a full comprehensive plan that can help with everything, but it's definitely a step in the, in the right direction. Uh, it's, it's, it's very cool they're doing that. Uh, it's very great for the sport. Um, you know, it's going to take years. I mean, the sport is still fairly new, and uh, this is the first uh, kind of thing starting with this, uh, you know, uh, this insurance program for the whole organization. That, you know, I see uh, within a couple of years, or within the next couple of years, I'm sure it'll grow and, and things will get better. All right, well, Shane, if you'd like, go ahead and thank your sponsors. Uh, yeah, I want to thank all my sponsors, Madam Militia, Rockstar, yeah, my team, Oyama, uh, the uh, Extreme Endurance, the Curtis and Company Watches, uh, ACIG Physical Therapy, OC Fight Doc. Uh, that's about it. All right, so a few viewers who are in California on uh, Friday, June 10th, you can come meet Shane Del Rosario, as well as Jens Pulver, Felice Herrig, and Michelle Gutierrez, all at the Universal CityWalk GameStop, 8.30 to 10 p.m. Uh, California time, because I'm in New York, so I'm, I'm not going to be there. But uh, Shane, have fun playing the game, and I hope you're happy with how your character fights. Thank you. And for anyone in the Orange County area, we just opened up a new gym called Team Oyama um, MMA. It's, uh, you can look us up at teamoyama.com. All right, Shane, thanks for your time, and I wish you a speedy recovery. All right, thanks, Matt.